So for the past 10 uh, few days, rather, we've been introducing you to some of the teams competing on the amazing Race Canada. For the sixth season of the show, things are going to be a little bit different. This year, Canadian heroes will be running the race, as if they're not amazing already. And now they're heroes, too. Today, you'll meet the final four teams. They include coaches, advocates, mentors, and some Navy sailors. Take a look. Ladies, welcome. Uh, first, tell me, Leanne, why did you two want to do the race together? We decided to do this together. I approached Mar, um, and before I could even finish kind of explaining to her what the show was and, and the Heroes Edition, she had already agreed. She was already on board, which was amazing. I knew she'd be a perfect teammate. She's also the other half of my brain, so anything that I kind of can't finish, she, uh, finish. Yeah, she, she picks it up right <laughs> there. there. <laughs> Kwame is the epitome of winner. He always wins, he never gives up, and um, I'm just excited, excited to be like with someone that I can trust. He knows me just as well as I know him. So we were uh, originally nominated um, because we're, we serve in the Royal Navy together. So um, we were just like, okay, um, I think you would be a perfect partner, and this is a dream of mine, a dream of Monica's too, so. Yeah. We were just like, of course, let's do it. Since we've been dating for four years, we thought doing it together would be a good idea. So, uh, we work well together. Our, our strengths and weaknesses kind of balance each other out, so we just thought we'd do well. Todd, will you tell us a little bit about your story? Yeah, yeah. So at the age of three, I was diagnosed uh, with cancer and a tumor in my nose and facial area. Like, I obviously went through the chemo and the radiation, and by the time I was four, it, got removed and stuff and growing up in junior high and stuff uh, like getting bullied and stuff was never easy but you have friends and family to help you get through and stuff. So you guys are part of the Heroes Edition and this is a really cool version of the Amazing Race Canada. What makes you guys heroes? You know it is just an honor to be on the show and to be considered a hero. That to me is a win in and of itself um, but we through the Argos run a bullying prevention program. So this program reaches out to half a million students every single year in the greater Toronto area. And Honestly, it's, it's, it's very humbling to even be on the show because I, I don't even know the stories of the other people, but I've just been like observing them and I know they have a deep, deep story and, and like, an inspirational story. And just to be amongst them is truly humbling. This guy saves lives on a continuous basis. He builds lives on a continuous basis. basis. He throws himself in the line of fire to protect lives. So uh, he's a true superhero and uh, I'm just happy to be with Superman. What would be your biggest fear going into the show? What, like, is it bugs? Is it snakes? Is it big please, animals? Onions. Please, please, <laughs> don't make me eat onions. I hate onions. Really? I hate like, onions. I'm just, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what about you? Shoot, like food in large quantities bothers me. Like if there's a hot dog eating competition or so, like I can. Uh. Really? I'm scared of being made to sing, and I think so is really? Todd. Oh gosh, we are so tone deaf, both of us. <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare. Like the world doesn't, shouldn't have to hear that. But uh, so that's a little bit scary. Tell you what Mars is. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me. Horses. Really? What we is it about be, horses? She's terrified of them. We'll be driving around Toronto, and she'll see like a police horse, and she'll tense up in my car. I'm like, you're inside a car, it's not gonna get you. It's not even looking at you, but she it's just is terrified of horses. Nada. <laughs> really? Honestly, no, there's gotta be something. We've been asked so many times, just even by like, you know, the, the very few people that know we're on here, it's like, what? What's your phobia? What's your fear? What don't you wanna do? Yeah. And I, honest to God, cannot think of one single phobia I have. You're telling me you'll eat bugs. I'll eat the bugs. You'll swim with sharks. Oh yeah. You'll jump off buildings. Done. So you guys are cheerleaders, and I do have to ask, yeah. do you have a special cheer? See, <laughs> we don't actually like chant, um, but we, we're dancers, right? Uh, we dance on the sidelines. I mean, BMO Field is huge. We can't uh, necessarily yell back, but we do have a motto okay. that we're going by, and this was kind of what we lived by through the playoffs in the Grey Cup season, and it's the sun came out. Do you guys have a team name? Team, team Northern, Northern Elites. Elites. Not really, but we kind of joke that we're like an old married couple, even though we're young. We spend a lot of our time puzzling, playing crib, playing backgammon, so like old man games. I like to knit. Awesome. <laughs> so that's kind of our, our thing. 
The Navy girls. The Navy girls. And do you have a team cheer or a handshake or? <laughs> no. We gotta we come up with. We that. hug so much. Yeah, we just always hug. <laughs> hug it out. Like yeah. Hug it out. Hug it out. Oh, I love it. You can catch the Amazing Race Canada on CTV starting July 3rd.